Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Top Commander. This is Jared, and uh, we are not doing our, our fourth game with Tristani. Um, she's been a lot of fun this past couple of games. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, just uh, making a lot of big dudes. You know, it's pretty sweet. Um, mm -hmm. And today we're up against uh, Brian. So a lot of active treasons. Um, and then they fling your own creature back at you after they swing in. So he's pretty good. I, I like I like the build this guy did with him. Um, mm -hmm. So as far as my opening hand, I didn't I had two lands, but one was uh, a temple of the false mm -hmm. god. So really one land. So I obviously shipped that one back. Uh, come on, here you go. So I kept it. I got a, well. I kept a kind of risky hand, a two lander. But I did have Steve, so I was able to. You know, I'm gonna get my other land. So I play my terramorph terramorphic expanse. I'm gonna go get me a a forest. Um, I really enjoyed the your guys' suggestions as far as what commanders to to build next. It's been a lot of fun. Um, uh, Chrome has been a blast. Tristan has been a blast. So uh, keep them up, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. So I cast Steve. Counts for mana, he gets burnished heart. And I had to sacrifice Steve in response. I'm getting myself a planes. Then I get a tamp land. Hoorah! That is a good land, it's a dual land at the very least, so. Couldn't do much, so I'm stuck at 4 mana. So if I don't start drawing lands soon, I'm gonna be very, very screwed. And I was. <laughs> yes, I'll strip mine. I mean, I, I get to see him strip mining me, and I'll just be like, just. freaking screwed. Okay, I got the, the big trample worm that dies, comes back. Mm -hmm. Didn't draw a land, so I cast uh, Emerald Angel. Cause she's just good. I think he so he cast Brian. Darian King. So still no lands. So I literally can't cast anything in my deck. So I just get in for three because I'm not going to block with it. So I finally get a land. I get a bird. That's always good, right? So I have five mana, and I think I cast my commander if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I do. Kep goes quarter up, so I'm going for three. I mean, both our commanders are just like, let's gain as much life as possible, so. Neither one of us are afraid of getting hit by, you know, a couple points of damage. So, he grabs the reins, and he entwines it, so basically he's just going to... Get control my creature and fling it back at me. I would think he would rather not entwine it and gain control of it and then fling him and gain life? At the very least? I don't know. Still didn't draw a land. Mm -hmm. um, now, this card is very good. And Helic Accord. I, I whenever gain four life, I get a four four angel. Mm -hmm. So my commander, whatever mm -hmm. dudes come into play, I gain life. Mm -hmm. So it it can be, it, it's a, an all star, it really is. So if you're if you are building destroying, make sure you include this card. It's it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you get an angel, you start populating on the other other people's turns. So you're gaining four life, and then you're getting another angel. It's pretty good. I can see even even Brian, a deck like Brian could easily do that. So uh, he um, jet medallion mm -hmm. my my bird. 
I guess probably just a scry. So I finally get a land. That's good, right? So I got six mana. And I cast, I think... Oh, yep, I got the slime. Because honestly, I, well, I wanted to gain four life so I can get another angel. Things start populating and it's going crazy. So end step, I got an angel. Gain four more life. So I swing in there. And he... So he based Act of Treason, this is a different type of Act of Treason. So he, I mean, like I said, his his deck is just full of, of Act of Treason stuff. So, and then he, so he gains control of my slime, and then he sacks, he throws a slime at me. Since it was under his control, he gets the 2-2... Two, two, the two 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 oozes that when they die they get more stuff so that's like the last thing I want freaking Brian to have but so I swung in there for four and did I forget to populate what happened I don't remember what happened so I cast a man reflection and pass the turn. Now, I could have kept on like casting. Well, I could have got the spider, then would have had another angel. Um, but I thought the mana reflection better because then I could start really doing some bigger stuff instead of just doing now and again stuff. So he stole my angel, uh, Mark Immunity. So I gave it 5 5. So this angel is going to be a 5 point swing here, or 15 point swing with the life gain. So he's going to swing you for 5. I take 5. And then he's going to fling him, and he's going to gain 5, and I'm going to lose 5. So. Not super awesome for me. I think I get Dersani's um, Summoner, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I cast Dersani's Summoner. So I gain a crap ton of life. It's 28. And I go to 30. 38, and then I'm going to gain four more because of the angel. And I still have two, or basically four mana open because of mana reflection. So I can uh, easily populate, gain four more. So on his next turn, I'm going to make another, make another angel or rhino. Either one would work. He tithes. In response to tithe, I make an angel. Yeah, it's an angel. So he's tapped lots of mana. So he sacks my ooze. Well, his ooze, I guess. And he casts this guy. This is pretty clever. I like this guy a lot. Um, Ender's Battlefield is 4 damage to each other creature. That basically wiped my field with the exception of Dristani. Um, what he could have done, because he sacked the ooze, because he knew Brian was going to die uh, and the flung it at me. What he could have done is once this guy was cast, he could have flung him in response to that trigger. And they dealt six more damage to me, and it would have had four one ones on the field instead of just two twos, or instead of two one ones. But again, having six six speeder isn't the worst thing in the world either. So I gained life that turn, so I'm able to. Um, okay, sweetie, give me one second. I'm with you, okay? Oh, sorry, it's my daughter. So I populate. Oh no, I don't populate. I cast uh, pum uh, pum pum bread worm. There you go. Well done. Okay. Sorry guys. All right. So. And I got a 6-6 six, six dude. Swing in there. So now even if he like wraths, wraths or days or something, um, I'm going to gain, well, 
Actually, I'm still mm -hmm. getting a 66 worm. So it's pretty sweet. So he pays echo cost to keep a 66 guy alive. In this deck, like people don't want to kill my guys like this because they don't want me to start populating the 66 trample. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so then I then I then I leave my 66 worm alive most of the time. Well, in theory, I would assume it just makes them make it makes them make bad decisions. It's kind of a win-win for me. So I populate, make another 4-4, four, four, and I do this on his end step, and this, the life game triggers on end step, so I messed up, I should have done it on his main phase, because I, I didn't get an extra angel, which I could have if I would have done one of his main phases or combat or any other step other than end. So I already gained 4 life, but that's already passed, so live and learn. This card's pretty fun too, constantly making 3-3s. Three, okay, um... So here, I believe I cast my Warrior Fang something, whatever the guy populates. Um, the 6 Lex is pretty decent size. So I cast the enchantment. I swing with the team, I leave back to Sonic, obviously. And we trade. So he kills the 6 6, and I get my, my worm dies, but then I get another 6 6 trample. Which makes me gain six more life. Uh, black green deck, or excuse me, white green making a black token. Pretty sweet. So obviously I gain more than four life. So I'm 78 life right now. So it's pretty wicked. So blind obedience in response to blind obedience, I populated. So I'll get a six six worm. Gain six more life, and then I'll get a four four angel. So good, man. So Warpwill, Warpwill is a pretty good, pretty good guy. I got him in this deck because you know populating three three death touchers or life linkers is pretty good. All right, so now I got a nine nine. He's getting pretty big. Um, I have. Lethal on board. I mean, I don't think there's much that he could do. So I swing with the team. And, he, and then he sees right in the wall and just gives up. It's because I would have killed him. I mean, he would have blocked there. Gained 6. Still would have took 10. 18. 24. Oh, well. Oh, then he could have blocked 2 damage. So he wouldn't have died. But he would have died next turn, though. I mean, there's. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's that's the fourth game. Um, I had a lot of fun with Tristani. I might do more games with her. Uh, I mean, there's this ability to freaking populate freaking six sick worm tokens and other ridiculous stuff. It's pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Um, having Daring with Tristani is, is just freaking dumb. Um, I mean, there's a lot of... I, mean, I like I like these guys when they die they give me more dudes and it, it's just kind of fun. So um, let me know what you think. What what generally you want me to do next week? Um, I might get more games in if no one gets more suggestions after Stani or if you guys request more to Stani, it's cool too. I'll squeeze them in there. Um, so let me know, guys. So like, subscribe, please push the like button. Subscribe. We need your support. All right, guys, have fun.